Child support is on the mic, bitch. Hopefully y'all can't see the porn in my tabs, bitch. Today we are taking the I am group challenge. I haven't seen anyone else do this. Cause so many people are gonna be so confused by this video. <laughs> I am Groot. I am Groot challenge basically is commentating, but all you can say is I am Groot. So for you lesser expressive people out there, if you take this challenge, you're gonna learn today. I am Groot. yourselves while we were away. Yeah, be good till we get back and Brian, stay out of the cat box. Stay out of the cat box. Bye, you guys. Bye, Mom. Bye, Dad. Farewell, Brian. I'm off to sea. An hour from now, I'll be surrounded by semen. Sperm whales and semen. Ooh, a swallow. What are you doing? I'll teach that. I am Groot. I am Groot. I'll teach that hussy to go on a boat ride without me. When she returns, I'm going to put bamboo splinters under all her fingernails. Yeah, then I'm going to strip her down and tie her to the bed. Okay. Then I'm going to make her crawl on her hands Ooh. and knees while I drip hot candle wax all over her back. Uh, and then Ooh. what are you going to do? Uh, let's see. You going to shower her off after all that candle wax? Ah, uh, what a wonderful story. All right, I got one for you. So me and Lois are driving up to Vermont to get this abortion. Yeah. Just, hang, hang on, hang on, Lois, don't ruin it. All right, so we're driving up to get this abortion, and we get to the abortion clinic, and the abortionist has one hand. The abortionist has one hand. Missing hand on the abortionist. And we're there to get an abortion. Hi, Peter. Can I talk to you in the kitchen for a second? What is it, Joe? Please tell me Lois is alive. It's been six days, Peter. I'm sorry, but we had to call off the search. I'm, I'm afraid you're just going to have to accept the fact that she's gone. No! Hey, Dad. Did we get any mail from Mom at the health spa today? Nope. Sorry, Chris. She said she's going straight from the spa right back to Europe. But I haven't seen Mom since she took me back to school shopping. All right, sweetie. You ready to get some new notebooks and protractors and slacks? Yeah! I want blue jeans. You're getting slacks! I'm Groot. dug through these cans since Lois died. Can't believe it's been 12 months since I've deliberately choked myself by stuffing her discarded makeup sponges down my throat. What's wrong with you? Oh my god. That does look like Peter's handwriting. Ah. Look, there he is! Dad, how could you? Hey, Dad, if they put you in jail, can we go in your room? Look, don't you kids buy any of this for a second. Your father is innocent. Oh, he killed her. Just like the telephone killed the telegraph sex business. Has your father ever killed anyone that you know of? Well, once by accident when he was in the military. All right, you all know your orders. When you see the Taliban come over the horizon, you open fire immediately. Okay, so when I see Pat Tillman come over the horizon, I shoot him. No, no, no! When you see the enemy come over the horizon, you shoot the enemy! Okay. I am Groot. I am Groot! I am Groot! <gasps> Lois! You're alive! Mom! You're oh alive! Oh my gosh, Mom! Stewie, uh... How long you been all messed up and evil like this? Oh, so now you're interested in Stewie. Last week when I made that macaroni picture of an owl, you didn't give a damn. That was an owl? Yes, and now we're going to look at it again. <laughs> ah! 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 Look, oh! look, do you like it? Yes. What do you like about it specifically? I don't know. Hey, Griffins, just checking in. Oh Holy crap! <laughs> Stewie! You killed him! He's dead! Oh my god! Oh my god, what are we gonna do? Oh, poor Cleveland! It's alright, Lois. I am Groot. I'm Groot. I am Groot. I'm Groot. I'm Groot. He's in heaven now. I don't mind not knowing what I'm headed for. You can take me to the skies. It's like being lost. In heaven, when I'm lost in your eyes.
I'm at the break challenge. I disturbed the hell out of my pinky toe. Well, let me know in the comment section down below if you guys want me to do a whole I am group challenge. I couldn't I couldn't finish it. Being a YouTuber and not being able to express my own opinion and express myself, it literally, literally, like, not, like, physically hurt, but, like, it's just like, because there was so many situations I would have said so much stuff on. I'm lost in your eyes. What did you do? You almost shot me, you son of a bitch! That's because you yelled! No, you shot the gun first! <laughs> that might be my favorite the all the guy I've ever seen, man! This, 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 uh, like, there wasn't even a whole lot of lead up to the joke, but it's just, it's just funny in general, bro. God, jeez. That's why I yelled! What exactly are you looking for? According to my schematics, it should be right in here. Well, this isn't quite right, is it? Hello, gentlemen. Great day to be protecting freedom, wouldn't you say? Uh, yeah. U.S. of freaking A. We're number one. Space shuttle and all that. Uh, Brian, come here. I want you to hear my presidential address for St. Rupert's Day. I'm unveiling all the new laws I've passed. Screw off. I don't want anything to do with you or your damn laws. Oh, just take a look, will you? <sighs> You're banning stri- <laughs> Lois! Stewie, your reign of terror has come to an end. Has it? I will not stand by while you make innocent people suffer. Bring it on! Time for me to finish what I started anyway. <laughs> Go ahead, Lois. Do it. Shoot me. Shoot your little baby, Stewie. It. You're a terrible, evil child, but you're still my baby, and I could never hurt you. Uh oh. Ah, 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 I want to be president! <laughs> Whoop. Brian, I can't see. I'm going to try and get a little closer. Um, you shouldn't be, um, you need to, um... Good morning, my American family. Peter, where did you get that suit? My god, you look like the Statue of Liberty's pimp. <laughs> this is how a patriot dresses, Lois. Boy, I never knew it would feel this good to love my country. It's like loving God or a step-parent. You, you never really feel them love you back, but that's okay, because they got other stuff going on, and you understand. All right, guys, it's going to be a long night of Border Patrol, so I brought along Michael McDonald to help us out. How's he gonna help us? He's gonna do backup vocals for everything we say. How's he gonna know How's what we're gonna saying? How's he gonna know what we're saying? Is he gonna do it for all yes, of us? Yes, he's gonna do it for all of us. Yeah, I hired him for the night. Yeah, it costs like two fifty an hour, so don't skip on the conversation. Hours, so don't skip on the conversation. Uh, I wouldn't do that if I were you. What? I said I wouldn't do that. I said knock it off. Why? Because I just made stool in there, and if you blow it down, the whole woods is gonna stink. Do you understand? Do you understand me, sir? No, it wasn't bad. Yeah, I'm on my way to the next plane now. Yeah, I got a middle seat, so I'm gonna see if I can switch. Ooh, a Sbarro! I'm gonna get a big, fat piece of pizza so I got something to stuff in my face while I'm reading USA Today. The only thing remaining is the oral test, which I will administer here. Now, question number one. Who discovered America? Oh. Housekeeping. Housekeeping. Come back later, please. Housekeeping? Not now. Housekeeping? Go away. I come in anyway? No, go away. I come in anyway. Oh my god! I said no! Okay, I clean? No, get out of here! I clean now? No! <laughs> I stay and watch? <laughs> <laughs> I stay and watch? Drink that. What is it? My blood. I'm a diabetic and I need you to test it. Isn't that dangerous? I don't know. Probably. I don't want it. You work for me. Now drink it. No! Drink my diabetic blood, Peter, or you're fired. Oh! Oh, I can't believe you really did that! Oh! Oh, that's nasty. You're nasty. 
Well, kids, enjoy yourselves. Cinco de Mayo is as Mexican as it gets. Wow, this is awesome. And later I'm going to go lift free weights in a parking lot. Oh, Peter, I'm so proud that you've embraced these people as your own. You've come a long way from hating foreigners. Five minutes now. I sure am gonna miss Ronaldo, but I'm glad I'm finally an American again. Being an immigrant is a real pain in the ass. I'm glad too, Peter. But I did enjoy learning about another culture. Yeah, you know, so did I. Well, I guess everything's well, back to normal. Well, I guess everything's back to normal. Oh man, not this guy oh, again. Oh man, not this guy again. <laughs> Fart! <gasps> oh my god! I know, about the water, right? Wow, cool! Hey, Chris, come here. What? Why? Just come here. What is it, Dad? Does it feel like the water suddenly just got warmer? No. Oh, that's right. It's pee that makes it warmer. Peter, the water's rising fast. We gotta get out of here. Hang on, Lois. There's a case of beer in the fridge. I can't leave that behind. Homie just sat in the... He gonna just sit in the water, huh? Well, hello, sleepyhead. I'm Michael. Hi, Michael. I'm Meg. Meg! Oh, my God. Meg, you're okay! Oh, Meg, my beautiful daughter. Oh, things are gonna be different. No more will I treat you like... Hey, Connie. Hi, Peter Griffin, Meg's father. Say, uh, can you do me a favor? Uh, you see that fire extinguisher there? <laughs> Dad, that's enough! Dad, that's enough! That's enough, Dad! <laughs> Meg, can I talk to you in the kitchen, please? Dad, what the hell? Lois, did you know that Meg had a date? Yes, with that nice boy from the hospital. What's the matter? We don't know him. Maybe he's not even a boy. Maybe he's two dwarves in an overcoat wanting to see what sex is like with a big person. Huh? Is that what you want? Two crafty dwarves in your house after your daughter? Wait, do dwarves grant wishes? Hey, Meg, I uh, got you something for our three-week anniversary. Three weeks. Wow, a Maroon 5 CD! Yeah, I remember how you told me you like terrible music, so I thought you might appreciate it. You're so thoughtful. Mm. Hey, what do you guys think of this one? Meg, are you sure you want to go through with this? You know, there are other options. Mom, I'm not getting an abortion! Well, I'm not saying an abortion per se, but maybe you just drink and smoke a lot. What?! Just don't stop doing it and then chicken out halfway through the pregnancy, because then you'll wind up with Chris. Oh, man, I'm about to say that to somebody. No, I'm not saying getting abortion. Maybe just drink and smoke a lot, huh? What's up, Teen Choice Awards? I have diabetes. Hey, what do you say we get some music in here, huh? Oh, that'll only make things worse. Give it up for our first nominated choice band of the night, P-Hole Skin. Uh, P-Hole Skin. Word. Feelings. Uh, I'm going to put a stop to this. Surprise! Oh. Oh, dear. Mom, if it's a surprise party, where is everybody? Chris, what the hell? I thought you were gonna pay the kids from school to show up. I gave you $300. Why do you think Dad's here? Hey, Meg, happy birthday. You're the coolest. Well, then what are all the cars doing out there? Oh, they must be from Mort's party. I'm really sorry about this, honey. It looks like nobody's coming. But we had fun at the Teen Choice Awards, right? How are people going to show up to Mort's party, but not show up to Meg's party? Meg! Right? I guess. Well, I guess we ought to call it a night. Come on, Stewie. Up to bed. No party? Oh, come on. I was going to show a slideshow of all those silly photos I took of Meg. Hey, Quagmire. What's going on? Well, Peter, a little birdie told me that today is Meg's birthday. You giving me credit? Yeah, I just told him. I'm the one who told him.
So, where is the birthday girl? Oh, hi, Mr. Cragmire. Anyway, this is a special day for you, young lady. Here's a gift for you. A scented candle? As a girl, I love this. That was originally $30. Thanks, Mr. Cragmire. You know what? You got another member right next door if you ever want to talk and stuff. Happy birthday. Hey. Hey, where's that pinky going, huh? Where's he going? What? What's he do? Get back here. There you go. <laughs> Look at Quagmire hitting on that skank. You know he's gonna close the deal. Peter, that skank is your daughter. Oh my god, you're right! So anyway, I'm on approach into Lambert Field in some of the worst turbulence I've ever flown through. I mean, I have never seen anything like it. Everyone in the cabin was like, ah, 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 but I kept my cool, I trusted my training, and brought the plane in safely. And in fact, it turned out, ironically, to be one of the smoothest landings I've ever made. Well, gosh, Quagmire, this has been a fun night, but I guess uh, you better be getting home now, huh? Yeah, it is getting late. Okay, that was weird. That was weird. Right? Oh my god, so weird. I tell you something, if he touches my daughter, I'm gonna be kicking butts and taking names and then giving those names to other people whose butts I kick. Oh. You're kind of trying to smash his daughter that literally just turned 18. What the hell? Okay, Glenn, time to reel her in. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god! We now return to grainy footage of a potential big foot that will surely spark a lively debate in your household. Oh my god, that is real. No, total fake. That's totally oh, real. That that is totally fake. Totally fake. Mike, you look at the way it walks. Why, why would totally somebody fake. make that up, Lois? What's in it for them? Hi, Glenn. Bye, you guys. Me and Glenn are going out. Okay, you two have fun on your date. What? Drive carefully. We'll see you later. Lois, you out of your mind? We can't let Quagmire take Meg out on a date. That guy will bang anything. Peter, nothing's gonna happen, don't you see? She's only doing this to get a rise out of us. If we fight her on it, she'll only push further. Well, she may not plan on sleeping with him, but you don't know how smooth Quagmire is, Lois. He's like a magician. Oh, that's clever. I know. He I gotta use that. He's like a magician. I like that. Vagic. Magician was funnier. Okay, well, the, the point is we ought to be worried. Peter, trust me. I know what's going on in the head. It's just a game. So, how are your studies going? They're going pretty good. School's good. What's your favorite class? What was your favorite class? Okay, let's say it at the same time and see if they're the same. Okay, one, two, three. His math. math. Oh, my God, we have so much in common. Do you have any brothers or sisters? Yeah, I have two brothers. Oh, they sound terrific. Hey, you want to blow this joint? Sure. Gosh, Meg, I sure had a swell time with you. Me too, Glenn. God, it's so amazing that you've been my dad's friend for, like, years. This connection. Hey, uh, do you want to come in for some crystal light or something? Well, I do believe in me, but it's getting kind of late. Um, I really want to see you again, though. Oh, uh, you know it. Oh, God, Peter! You scared the hell out of me. What are you doing here? I think you know. Did you have sex with my daughter? What? <laughs> come on, Peter! Did you have sex with my daughter? Peter, trust me, it's not happening. <sighs> All right, good. Yeah, she's really making me work for it. Maybe you could talk to her. Well, I'll try. You know, and I, and I would say in some respects, having a strong-willed kid is a good thing, but it can get frustrating as hell on the other side. So, you know, believe me, I hear loud and clear where you go, Wait a second! No, I won't talk to her! And I want you to stay the hell away from her! Peter, it's me, Quagmire. This is what I do. Besides, Meg is 18 now, and, and you've got to let go. You See, it's at that point that you let him know that he's going to have to let go of his life if this, is, if this is what he's going to do. I would just beat him. You've done your job. It's my turn now. We'll see about that. I ain't afraid to stand up to friends. Just ask Spartacus. I'm Spartacus. I'm Spartacus. That guy's Spartacus. We now return to two lame chicks on vacation in Mexico. Oh my god, don't drink the water! I'm so 
gonna brush my teeth with tequila. Mexico! That cute guy's been staring at you all night. Oh my god, I'm gonna go poo now so I don't have to later. Mexico! You okay? Yeah, babe. I gotta pee, but I don't wanna move. I'm so comfortable right now. I can pause it. Well, I guess you could pause it. But you can't pause me! Ah, oh, fast forward, fast forward, fast forward! I can't breathe! Ah, I can't stop breathe either! Oh, this is torture no, no, for me, too! Stop. You're ah, so God, God. Stop. I'm gonna... Sorry. Hey, gang, got room for one more right in the middle of you two? Come on, scoot your pride there. Oh, what's this? Quagmire's cell phone. Well, now that you're with Meg, you don't need to be talking to, uh, Backbush anymore. Oh, and I'll send a text to possible nipple ring saying you're off the market. Oh, come on, I'm back, Bush. This can't be a surprise to you, Peter. Yeah, I knew. I just didn't know you knew. Hydrogen peroxide. God, you're so smart. How about this one? QM2? I'm not sure what that is. It's quagmegium. It's the strongest compound on Earth. Nothing can separate it. It has an atomic weight of awesome. You're such a cutie patootie. If I'm a cutie patootie, then you're a peeny vagini. Aww. <laughs> Hey, you are in there. Cool down. Yep. Something we need to talk about. Dad, I swear to God, I thought you could flush those things. Meg, you ever heard of Joan Van Ark? No. Here's a picture of Joan Van Ark. Oh my God, she's gorgeous. Gorgeous. Yes. That man was Glenn Quagmire. And two short months later, this is what happened to Joan Van Ark. <gasps> oh! Oh my God! I don't want this to happen to you, Meg. I don't want you to turn into a hilarious photograph. Dad, I know what you're trying to do, and I want you to stop it. Mom! Peter, I told you not to push her about this quagmire thing. If you push too hard, you're gonna push her right into his arms. Well, what am I supposed to do? Nothing. This is a big game Meg is playing, and the only way to win is not to play it. That's literally real. I, I can't tell you how many times that's happened. P? You know war games? Yeah. Oh, Peter, there you are. Would you go tell Meg that lunch is on the table? Oh, Meg's not here. What do you mean? She and Quagmire went up to his cabin for the weekend. What? Yeah, I drew you a crude flip book to explain what's happening. Peter, Quagmire has a name for that cabin. He calls it his sex cabin. No, he doesn't. He calls it the stuff it in. Oh, my God, I can't believe you knew about this and you let her go? Hey, don't give me that crap. I'm doing exactly what you told me to do. You said don't mess with her business, so I didn't. Peter, this is different. No. It's one thing to rebelliously flaunt an older guy in front of your parents, but it's a whole other thing to go away with him for the weekend to a sex cabin. We gotta stop them. So you admit you were wrong? Yes. You admit you were stupid? Yes, yes. You admit all women are stupid? No. All right, I'll take what I can get. Come on, to the Peter Dactyl. All right, I'll take what I can get. Look, Peter, his car's still there. Maybe they haven't left yet. Quagmire, let me in, you son of a bitch! I'm sorry, I... Oh. I'm not home to receive you. The reason being that you have sufficiently scared me away from your wife or daughter. I plan to get help and use better judgment in the future. You think they're hiding in there? Peter, look! See you later, suckers! Just banging your oh, daughter. Oh, good luck to them. Peter! Oh, right, right, let's go! <laughs> Come on, guys, really? Let's go! What the hell's going on up there? Well, oh. yep. Yep. So tell the truth. Have you brought other women up here before? Honestly? Two. Oh. The other was some skag I met on a dock four miles from here. What? Eh, strike four, Jelly Jellison. The other was my sister. <laughs> <laughs> it's so nice up here. I know. He probably still had sex with her. The way the fire makes the shadows dance around behind us. What is going on over here? Are we taking our shirts off now? Okay, follow the leader. Come on, Peter, hurry! Wait, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Listen to that. It's a loon. That's beautiful. You know, we ought to get a cabin up here. Peter, we're wasting time. Quagmire's in there about to have sex with our daughter. Mmm, yeah. thanks for the ice cream, Glenn. And you're right. Somehow it does taste better in my underpants. Yes, yeah, like being at the beach, huh? Now get over here while the inside of your mouth is still freezing cold. There you are, you son of a... You get away from my daughter, you pervert! Meg, get in the car, we're going home! I'm not 
not going home! My job to protect you from errant wieners. So I don't care how old you are, you're gonna do what I say and get in a damn car! Yes, Daddy. If you ever touch my daughter again, I will cut your thing off and feed it to Brian. Okay. And Peter and I get this cabin for one weekend a month. Do you understand me? Yes, ma'am. Peter, I got us the cabin! Yay! I don't want to see your face knocking on our door for at least a month. <sighs> you know, Mom and Dad, I'm really glad that you kept me from doing what I was going to do. Well, that's what parents are for, Meg. No matter what age you are, we love you and we just never want to see you hurt. I was 18 and my body was firm from push-ups and sit-ups. I was stunning. But while my body was mature, I had the mind of a 12-year-old. Elaine invited me over with the promise of pie. Little did I know this would lead to an eight-year-long psychosexual entanglement. She's probably dead now. Life's funny sometimes. Is it? And scene. I know a lot of you guys probably have differing opinions, but I, I, that does not seem... Uh, that, that doesn't seem good. You know, doesn't seem like anything that I think anyone would want or should want. The moral of this story is do not be too overprotective of your daughters because all it will do is make her smash a guy like me. I literally say that from personal experience. And trust and believe also from personal experience, you don't want that. What are you doing to Dad? What? I'm going to the grocery store. Okay, you remember Memento? That. Don't forget the cucumbers, Peter. All right, where's that? Oh, you're right, because of that thing we started doing. I wish you hadn't said that at full volume in front of our children. I can't tell if they have a really good marriage or a really bad one. I feel like it's weird, but strong. Like Danny Trejo. You ready for movie marathon day, Rupert? Ah, uh, I was born ready, too. All right, let's get high. You can't be high for this, Brian. This is serious stuff. This is a 14-hour meditation on the importance of family, fast cars, product placement, racial ambiguity, and family. Someone said they were going to get me eight on Blu-ray for my birthday, and someone got me a limited edition Michael Kors pebbled leather tote bag instead. You're starting with six? Um, yeah. We're going in order from best to worst. Six, five, seven, three. I know that's controversial. One, four, two. What was that, Rupert? Oh, yes. I don't know, maybe? Maybe bye? That's ludicrous. That's not Tyrese. What are you talking about? They look nothing alike. Ludicrous looks like a human peanut, and Tyrese looks slick. Ludicrous, human peanut. Tyrese, Chinese black. Are you gonna keep talking like this during the whole thing? What? He really, he really does look Chinese black. I'm answering Rupert's questions. Now we're gonna have to rewind. We just missed the scene where half the team steals a tank while the other half pretends to be a DJ for some reason. Damn it! Yeah, you're right. I bet he is on his period. Whatever that means. No, 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 no! Stop, stop, stop! Gross, gross! A loaf of bread, a container of milk, and a stick of butter. A loaf of milk, dirt DVD, Scarlett Johansson, and treasure from a fish tank. Attention shoppers! Beloved cereal icon Boo Berry is now greeting customers in aisle six. Huh? Boo Berry? Oh, Mr. Booberry, I'm your biggest fan! You're not the one threatening me on Facebook, are you? No, no! Oh my god, Booberries! And you're and you're a ghost! Cause so that, that's the boo! Did you guys know you were doing that? Oh my god! Anyway, can I shake your hand? Sure. I've been touched by greatness. I am never washing this hand again. Cracking fourth wall breaking superhero! The treatment didn't give me powers, but it did spread cancer to my anus. Just call me anus of the morning. Just touch my cheek before you leave it. And this violence just opposed to music. Anus. Decapitation in slow motion. Just touch my anus before you leave. Sorry, Rupert, I think I'm down for the count. You okay if I go to bed? Oh, I like that we're comfortable doing things separately, too. Yes, you do. You always step on the creaky board. Yes, you do. Every time. Don't go to bed angry. Don't go to bed angry. Rupert, I'm sorry. I overreacted. Now you say you're sorry. What do you mean, for what? I hate you! I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I love you. I value you. We're not escalating. It's fine. I'll see you in the morning. 
Why don't you grab yourself a Corona, hit play, and enjoy the ride? And this is Vin Diesel. Welcome to the DVD menu. Oh boy, you're hungover. How are you going to do nothing today? Oh my god. Rupert? No! Rupert! Rupert! Did your friend kill your other friend? That's betrayal. That's not strong. Danny Trejo is strong. Murderer! You killed Rupert! You killed my best friend is what's going on! Oh. Uh-oh. Bear killing bastard! I, I, I was drunk. It was an accident. I, I must have thought he was a chew toy. So, if you were driving drunk and ran him over, would you still go to jail? Yes! You killed him! How about I do that? Whoa, 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 okay. Okay, that's that's fine. That's fair. No, no, I, I meant like, like, like my favorite tennis ball. You're comparing Rupert to a tennis ball? What is wrong with you? And now we know what it was. You're a psycho! Look at me. Watch. See what I'm doing? Twitter. Unfollow. Instagram. Unfollow. Snapchat. Unfollow. And there we go. Done. We are not friends anymore. Yo, that's real though. Ever since 2016, if you unfollow somebody on Twitter and Instagram and all that stuff and they know you did, if you do unfollow them, it's basically as good as like flushing your friendship down the toilet. Brian, you are blocked. <laughs> Why are you brushing your teeth with your left hand? Can't risk the right getting wet, Lois. Bullberry touched it and it is now a sacred space, like a temple. Sleep now. Hey, Chris, have you seen... What, uh, what, what are you doing? Operating my thriving quinceanera dress business. Do me a favor, stand on that chair. So, what's up? I'm looking for Stewie. He and I had a fight, and I'm scared he might have done something drastic. Okay, I see he got to you before I did. It's a stuffed animal, Chris. Yeah, well, he cremated that stuffed animal, and he's going to Vermont to scatter the ashes. Not until I finish fitting this. How you feeling, Bueno? Fits good? This isn't mine. Do you or do you not feel bonita? Puedes recogerlo el miércoles. Pablo is gonna lose his mind. Stewie! Hmm. Well, violent murderers can often be found at bus stations, so why am I surprised? You can't go to Vermont alone. If I died first, he would throw my body whole into the fountain at the Bellagio. If I don't, I'll get stuck next to that guy with the heavy hands. Hi, doggy! Hey. <laughs> I can hear you following me. Good. I swear to God, do not take one step further or I will hit you. That's it! <laughs> Stewie, stop! Stop! Are, look, why are you being such a jerk over a stupid bear? Don't you disrespect the dead! <laughs> you take those words back! He wouldn't care! He didn't hear them! He's a doll! Well, you're not! You're a bloodthirsty, cold-hearted murderer! Fine! You're right! You know what? It wasn't an accident. I knew he wasn't a chew toy. I was sick of you talking to him all the time. And I was sick of always playing second fiddle to that bear. He's not even real. <laughs> Stewie! <laughs> no! I didn't know we were blowing it up. I really thought I'd be able to make it through this one. Rupert, where? Oh, there you are. Stewie, you're hurt. It's just my ankle. It's not a big deal. It's already swelling up. Just let me... Back off! I didn't want your help. Well, you need it, so it's happening. This isn't going to make me forgive you, you know. That's fine. You know, maybe it's appropriate that you're my ride up. Rupert always called you my bitch. Want to know something? Some of the other things he called you? Rin Tin Twink, Poopy Snoopy, Mama Dookie, Clifford the Big Red Sphincter that we see all the time because you don't put your tail down. Hey guys. What the hell is that? My booberry hand. I swore I'd never wash it again, even though Lois keeps telling me to. Take that! Ah! <laughs> that started happening yesterday. To the bathroom!
We gotta get him to wash that hand. Just reply to that last gift she sent of the sloth putting on the headphones. <laughs> I love that one. What's weird is that your bitmoji can walk. I'm allowed to have legs in the phone world. You know, once we're done here, I'm never speaking to you again. Well, how the hell was I supposed to know it was going to upset you so much? You saw me spend almost every single minute of every single day with Rupert since I was born. And you don't... Oh, oh hang on, hang on. Another hiker going by. <laughs> what are they going to put in the elevator, right? <laughs> I loved Rupert. He was the most important thing in my life. And you willfully violated the sanctity and trust of our friendship when you destroyed him. You're so mature in so many ways. You're, you're the smartest person in the house. You're incredibly perceptive. You're wiser than people 40 times your age. Because Rupert was going to be with me forever. He wasn't ever going to leave. So what? I'm not leaving you either. Oh, really? You're a middle-aged dog. You don't have that many years left. And one day, all too soon, I'm going to be crying at your funeral in an Armani suit. Feels like that story is less about me and more about your suit. Go to hell! Besides, if you don't believe Rupert was real, why are you so jealous of him? Why does it bother you how upset I am? That is a very good point. Damn right it is, you joyless fake wisdom spouting... For the record, I would have preferred to dress as Frankenbury. That doesn't make any sense. And this does? If anything, we all three should have been snap, crackle, and pop. Cleveland, just ring the bell. Oh, I wonder who that could be. I'll get it. Count Chocula! That's right. Silly rabbit, Count Chocula tastes great! Whoever wrote that line, they're a terrible person. I can't believe they've done this. Ah! What's happening? We got you, Peter. Yeah, there's a golf ball scrubber in there. Just relax and let it happen. To a place better than this, son. Come on, Quagmire's pubes. That's the only place dirtier than the glove or his hand. Yay! Well, Rupert, we made it. It's beautiful up here. So, should... Should we just sprinkle him around randomly, or...? But, dearest Rupert, we're here. too upset i can't i don't know just just tell the truth let let rupert know how important he is rupert was a, a great bear uh, a great uh power bottom right right okay he was always hold on now why, why, why is he a power bottom why do you have a bear as a bottom i know i'm talking to a cartoon when i say this but that doesn't make it any less creepy that you're yeah, you using the bear as a bottom is that what all them buttonholes was for he's there whenever stewie needed him he was understanding he always listened stewie and i are both incredibly grateful for all the time we had with you and sorry about that um rest in peace rupert Say goodbye to what we had outweigh the bad. We'd get to see forever, but forever's gone to say goodbye to yesterday. Now pour it out. What? Pour it out, whatever you have. Pour it out. I have a Gatorade bottle full of pee from the bus. Hey, Peter. I've just been, uh, checking out some of that internet porn. You okay? Yeah, yeah, I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. I'm just gonna go, go and check my mail over there. You been lifting oh. weights? Uh, no. No, I don't, I don't think... Oh. I, no. I, uh, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, Peter, I, I gotta, I gotta get back. legitimately crossed every dude's mind at least once and it's like man i hope this don't make my one arm look bigger than the other one <laughs> oh, oh man 
Oh, my God! Well, now, now hang on, Quagmire. There, there's no guarantee it's your baby. Giggity? Oh, I say that. <laughs> hey, there's another note. Glenn, this is your child. Next time, wear a condom jer- Oh, that's the note from earlier. I need a file cabinet. What do you say we hit another bar? Keep it going. I can't. There's a girl tied up in my basement who needs some food. That's funny. You funny, pointy man. Yeah, I... I joke around a lot. <laughs> hey, Joe Carter! Get some! Get some! Hey, Joe, that's like right in my f***ing ear. Giggity. Giggity. Lois, oh my gosh, hi! What is it, Peter? You will die in a plane crash and be reincarnated as a prophylactic. All right. No, no, not all right! <laughs> I've seen this joke legitimately like ten times. But it gets me every time, yo! <laughs> what the hell is going on here? Oh. Hi, Angela. I'm Peter's friend, Glenn Quagmire. Uh, thank you so much for having me in your home. And, um, I would have had sex with you, but Peter neglected to tell me that you are a complete dumpster fire. <laughs> Some friend, huh? Okay. All right, take it easy. <sighs> How you girls doing on popcorn? I'll take some. Here you go. Speaking of popcorn, I gotta go to the movies. By myself. Just putting that out there, just in case there's any uh, Azalea Banks looking females out there who are down to accompany me with no clothes on and none of her attitude. Because you will be left. <laughs> 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 oh, look, Chris, here's your costume from the year you won as a condom. What the hell are you supposed to be? <laughs> that is literally the perfect joke, yo. Literally the perfect joke. Uh, are you having trouble getting ready? Yes, obviously I'm having trouble. Well, somebody's got to me. Lois, don't say that. Quagmire will show up like the roadrunner. It's okay, your vagina is just a painted on hole. Did you have s with this underage girl? I don't want to go to jail, but I really want to take credit. Quagmire, I'm afraid you're under arrest for statutory rape. <sighs> all right, but let me just send the pictures I took of her last night to all my friends. Uh... Oh, yeah! Boom! You're disgusting. Take them away. <laughs> I've literally been in that situation. I'm not even joking, bro. And it was from the police. I got caught in inside of a car with a female in the top of the garage at Texas Station. You know how they say you got caught in a compromising position? Well, the only reason the cops didn't take me to jail for public indecency was because they didn't want to touch me. I'm not even joking. I was slathered in it. Good times! <laughs> I'm gonna edit that out! We've got all the awesome evidence we need. One of the kids had a nanny cam hidden in his room. Come on, let's do it on your son's tiny bed. Hurry, he gets home at three. Okay, it's later than this. Yeah, yeah, fast forward ahead. Forward. Forward. Keep forwarding. Is that woman gonna be okay? Yeah, yeah, she's fine. We're having brunch after this. God, I look huge in that bed, don't I? Hey, baby. How'd you like to share a pair of skates? Sure. Oh, never mind. Well, you look a lot better from the back. You jerk! Oh, hey, baby. You wanna go somewhere? No, 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 no. Wait, wait, Quagmire. Remember what's on the other side. Okay. Mm, Glenn, honey, I have a question for you. What do you do for a living? <laughs> hey, I have a question for you, too. Why are you still here? <laughs> oh. 
Wow, that was terrific, Jessica. It was good for me, too. Ah! <laughs> got, got you again, Quagmire. You said you were that waitress from Friendly's. I lied. You jerk. I didn't feel anything, but you did. Happy Halloween. Can't resist. Oh! Oh! It's the Q Man and my super powered genitalia, Apache Penis E. Nay Chuck. Ah! You go on and beat it, little Nick. I'll be out in a minute. I really need to go. She said she'll be out in a minute. My fellow American, I have not been entirely truthful with you. I did gagoogity that girl. I geschmoigadied her geflavity with my googus. And I am sorry. All right. No, no, not all right. <laughs> that joke is still funny. <laughs> Let us forever remember this beautiful young woman, taken from us in the bloom of youth, yet as unspoiled as when she was born. Hey, if I could rearrange the alphabet, I'd put you and I together. <laughs> hey, you must be a parking ticket, because you got fine written all over you. <laughs> hey there, I don't want to come between you, or do I? <laughs> Package for Glenn Quagmire? Oh, uh, excuse me. I got a package for you, too. All right. Nice try, but I built up an immunity. <laughs> Ma Megan! What? That's so terrifying. Make sure they get straight in the eyeballs. They just look straight at you. Just not even blink. Just <laughs> so we smashing it all like this. <laughs> Nobody's seen you in days. Hey, Peter. I've just been, uh, checking out some of that internet porn. Wait a second, you were born in 1948? Uh, yeah. You're 61 years old? Uh, yes, sir. What's your secret? Uh, carrots. Sometimes I grind them up into juice or just eat them raw. Or insert them As <laughs> long as I get them into my body somehow. Chicka chicka. Hi, Glenn. Uh, hey, will you sign a petition to overturn Mayor West's ban on gay marriage? Gay marriage? Ah, oh, come on. Two halves can't make a hole without a hole. Giggity, 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 giggity. Ooh, ee, ooh, ah, ah, ting, tang, walla, walla, bing, bang. Ooh, ee, ooh, ah, ah, ting, tang, walla, walla, bing, bang. Haven't you ever felt like the world would be better off without you? My name is Glenn Quagmire, and I say giggity, giggity, giggity. No. The world needs me. Giggity giggity. Giggity goo. Stick around. Who else but Quagmire? He's Quagmire. Scared the hell out of me. What are you doing here? I think you know. Did you have sex with my daughter? What? Come on, Peter. Did you have sex with my daughter? Peter, trust me, it's not happening. <sighs> All right. Good. Yeah, she's really making me work for it. Maybe you could talk to her. Well, I'll try. But sometimes she can be as stubborn as a mule. I tell you, you, you tell her to do something once, she does the opposite. You know, it's like she ain't even heard you in the first place. It's like talking to a brick wall. Worse than talking to her. Even a brick wall doesn't tell you they understand you and then go do the opposite. You know, so it's no surprise to me that you're having these difficulties. That, that just seems to be the way she is. You know, wh whether it's just that she's not listening or whether it's that she's making a conscious decision to defy your wishes, who can say? You know, and I, and I would say in some respects, having a strong-willed kid is a good thing, but it can get frustrating as hell on the other side. So, you know, believe me, I hear loud and clear where you go, Wait a second! No, I won't talk to her! And I want you to stay the hell away from her! Peter, it's me, Quagmire. This is what I do. Besides, Meg is 18 now, and, and you've got to let go. You've done your job. It's my turn now. Look, Quagmire, you're one of my best pals, and I'm asking you not to do this. I want to help you, Peter, I really do. But it's, it's like you're asking a fish not to swim. She's legal and I'm going in. Well, we'll see about that. I ain't afraid to stand up to friends. Just ask Spartacus. 
I'm Spartacus. I'm Spartacus. That guy's Spartacus. We now return to two lame chicks on vacation in Mexico. Oh my God, don't drink the water. I'm so gonna brush my teeth with tequila. Mexico! Hey, is this beach topless? No, but my margarita's bottomless. Mexico! That cute guy's been staring at you all night. Oh my God, I'm gonna go poo now so I don't have to later. Mexico! Hey, you wanna see my pictures from Mexico? Uh, look, Janine, I just, this is, I can't with you anymore. It's all the time. This is a job. Please take off that silly hat. Mexico! I, I can't talk right now. Where I was hooked up to a 17-year-old ingenue. And in accordance with Hollywood law, her life force was infused into me, bringing me back from the dead. What happened to the girl? I threw her out a car window at Nora Ephron. Stop making Jack Nicholson a pansy! You're thinking of Nancy Myers! You're the- Hey, that was some good teamwork, Brian. We were like Lewis and Clark and the guy who likes to tip over canoes. Ugh, these rapids are treacherous. We should reach calmer waters by nightfall. Uh-oh! Earthquake! Hey, come on! Careful! Damn it, why is he still with us? I know. Until now, walking to the other end of the United States seemed like such a good job. Favorite movie? No, that's my favorite period piece. Well, Dad, and good night and good luck. Even though I was tricked into leaving early. Good night and good luck. And good night and good luck to you, sir. Right, that movie don't even... So what brings you to Kentucky? I'm visiting my family. Ah, family man. Me? Single and ready to mingle. Tom Brunel's the name. Insurance is the game. No. And right now, the game is very good to me. Well, <laughs> I'm not. I don't believe you. God, is that true? God? God, are you there? Come on, don't touch yourself. You're God. Uh -huh. That's for shooting one of our guys. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Our guys. yeah, our boat. Our boat. This boat. Can't be mad at that. Hey, Mom, I want you to meet my new girlfriend. New girlfriend? Yeah. You remember that girl, Lindsay, I told you about? Well, I asked her out, and now we are dating. Lindsay, this is my mom, my little brother, Stewie, and my dog, Brian. Hey. Oh, my God. Word. Yo, Mom. Good job today. What? Good job today. Great class. Nice hustle. Word. Excuse me. I'm looking for Ed Manzelli. That's a lot of years in Good evening. I'm Ed Manzelli. What can I do for you? I'm looking for a guy who used to work here. Name's Mario. You got any idea where he could be? I haven't seen him in over a month. That's the end of my line. Your line, NCIS. You son of a bitch, you made me feel again. Oh, don't you go, because I'll go. Private Jet. But if you say yes, I will spend the rest of my days making your every wish come true. Will you be my wife, Princess Meg? Oh, yes! Yes! Oh! No! Stewie? Hi, Meg. My goodness, look at that's you. That's messed up. Do you even realize like her you only look chance like Cameron Diaz, that's who. Love you in general. Gorgeous. Well, she's awful pretty, I know that, Mom. Very pretty. Stunning. Are you kidding me? Are they not seeing this? I know, it's kind of creepy. It's almost like he's dating Lois. Yeah, looks like somebody's getting a little Oedipussy. Can we say that? Just did. Let's pick teams for dodgeball. Connie, would you like to be a captain? Sure. I pick everyone except Meg. Fair enough. Oh. Go. Oh. 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 No. No. Oh. No. I don't even know why that's funny. To your first TV acting job. We now return to NCIS. Oh, here it is. Here comes my part. 
Oh no, he's one of those parkour free running guys. We'll never catch him. Oh, snap. Oh. 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 Oh, oh no. I have shattered myself. Oh. Damn it. He died before he could tell us anything. Ryan, he's the first guy. The first guy always dies. Well. That is real. Especially in action movies, like in the Bourne Identity movies. What the hell? Which one is it? Stop or go forward? This is a big deal. They're not at all similar. Yeah, no, 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 no. You, sir, have lost my business. Excuse me, Mr. Cobain? Look, I know you're depressed. Made some bad choices with women, but there's another way. haagen -Dazs. Lots of haagen -Dazs. Well, let's see if it worked. Here we go. Ha! You're still alive, you fat oh. Honey, I don't care that you're bald. I find you just as attractive. It's not about you. It's about my confidence as an eagle architect. Just for Eagles will give you thicker, fuller, more natural hair, so you can just focus on Eagle stuff. You're an excellent architect. Dear God, the Queen's dead! All right, Collingsworth, I got a hair. Now, just walk away casual like, and we're in the clear. Oh no, here come the coppers! <laughs> All right, what do the rest of you want? We want the city government shut down! Yeah! Oh, I see. And all of you feel the same way? Yes! No! Yes! Well, I'm nothing if not a public servant. And the public has made its feelings known. I hereby declare Quahog City government disbanded! Dad, I think that was just a cricket. Then what the hell was that? That was just me saying that was just a cricket. Dad, settle down. There's no one out there, Peter. You sure? Yeah. Yeah, you're... Right, it's probably just dead. Did you guys lock the truck? Dad, we don't even have it. What the hell is going on out there? Come on out, whoever you are. I want to show my kids what it looks like when a bitch dies. Peter, it's... Physically fit at this place. Yeah, it's almost like he has unrealistic abilities when we play laser tag. All right, well, if we just stick together, then... Zap! 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 What the... No way! How'd you learn to do that? The question isn't how I do it. It's how I forgive myself for what I've done. Oh! Whoa. Come on down, Stewie! This is crazy, this is crazy, this is crazy! All right, you can do this, Stewie. Here we go. Yo, go down the slide is rough! Are you okay? Yeah, that wasn't so bad. You might want to move. That farting Polish kid is coming down the slide. Oh! No, Lord! All right, drop the coats on three. One, two, three. Oh. Yeah! And all he asks in return is our unceasing attention. How can you allow this? Robin Williams has given us nothing going. I wish everyone was Robin Williams. Ah! Ah! Boy, that looks enticing. Yeah, this is nice. Oh. Oh. Good morning, Stewie. You. Are you proud of yourself? That, that this is what you do? Is this a dime? Did you swallow a dime? Yeah, wipe it off and put it back in your purse, you white trash hen. Um, she loves it. Okay, we'll take it. Peter, what is that girl doing in my wedding dress? She gone? No. Okay, well, while I'm down here, let me give you my card. There you go. Oh my god, you, you're Robin Williams! Ding! Thank you for playing, that's obvious! Tell him what he's won, Cletus. Money! Oh, money. Or as the Republicans call it, MINE! <laughs> I hope this is covered by your HMO. I was covered once by an HMO in San Francisco. I hate my Ashberry in these jeans. Ding, ding, Ricerone. Ah. I'll tell you one thing. I still regret not going to my junior dance. But, but, Daddy, if you don't do what they say, they'll kill me. Sorry, Pumpkin. You know we don't negotiate with kidnappers. Family policy. Daddy, no. Please, please. Oh. 
She'll be all right. Oh. Excedrin headache number one. Bruh. Puppy mill. Oh, damn. Hey, does, does anyone here have thumbs? And anyone? No? Ah. Uh, sorry, I, I don't play. Hey, 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 come on, knock it off. Hey, how's the flow today? Hey, hey, whoa, whoa! Uh, mom, mom, do something! Mom! Mom, help! Yeah. Mom! Oh, God, please tell me I have a brain tumor and this is all just a side effect from the chemo. Man, what are you doing in my locker? Your locker? Say, Phil, what do you say to happy hour after work? I'd say looks like Cheryl's gonna have another black eye to explain to the neighbors. <laughs> Come on, I'm buying. Oh, yeah. It's a bad joke. I had nothing to do with it. God, that's right. You have to punch in the numbers nowadays. I should know this. Oh, yes. 8675309. That's it. No, wait, that's not it. Damn you, Tommy Two Tone! <sighs> Only one thing to do. 111-1111. Lewis? Damn. 111-1112. Lewis? Damn. 111-1113. That's awful, man. Come on, bro. No, man. Dad, if Batman broke into the house and they had guns and they put a gun up to your head and made you choose who you wanted to live, me or Meg, who would you choose? Oh, uh, ask your mom. I'm not very good with tough decisions. Ernest goes to the beach. Ernest doesn't go to bed. <laughs> we'll be closing in two minutes. Oh, no. Bruh. Hello. Uh -huh. oh, thanks, Spider-Man. Everybody gets one. <laughs> say something. What? D just say something, please. Oh, for God's sake. Um... Uh, yea, and God said to Abraham, you will kill your son Isaac. And Abraham said, I can't hear you. You'll have to speak into the microphone. And God said, oh, I'm sorry, is this better? If you must know, I've gone undercover to get rid of the toad problem, so your school can be safe and innocent, like the good old days. Negative B plus or minus radical B squared minus 4AC over 2A. That's correct. A girl answered a math problem. You know what that means. That's what I thought. Oh man, you're making me so hot. I hope you like big breasts because mine are so big this itty bra can barely contain them. Do you want to see more? Yes, please. Then you'll have to order my next tape. No! Good afternoon, Quahog. Our top story, price wars are heating up between all of the major airlines and even a couple of the little crashy ones. We now go live to Trisha Takanawa with more on the story. My booze. It wasn't me, Brian. Well, if it wasn't you, who was it? I mean, there's a lot of weird stuff going on around here lately. Just yesterday, somebody gave Peter a hot butt. La 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 la, regular life. La 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 And then somebody replaced Meg's sleeping pills with Alka-Seltzer. People are gonna miss me when I'm Kings to some fruit roll-ups I need to discard. I'm sorry, that's for library trash only. I understand. It's okay. I'll just hold on to these for the rest of the day. It ain't easy being green, huh? <laughs> that's from a song. Is that all? Yeah, is there an age restriction for the sleight of hand magic show this afternoon? Twelve. Oh, maybe I'll just stand in the hallway and look in. All means come in, I guess. What the hell do you think you're doing? Let's pick out a cute shirt for you. Then I thought we can go to the park. Oh, how about this? I press my butt against the wall and duke on it. <gasps> Stewie, don't do that! You're messing with my schedule, so I'm giving you wall poo. Stop that right now! You just earned a timeout! Oh, what? Let go of me! Don't you... Is that... If there was ever a time for child abuse, that would be the time... When you tell me you're gonna poop on my walls and spread it. Flick streaming the right choice for you? Well, if you like movies in HD, then Frozen Pixels, then HD again, the answer is yes. And if you love the golden year of movies, 2003, then we might have some of what you're looking for. Netflix streaming. Buffer for 20 minutes, then watch 35 minutes of a movie with Jason Statham. Very 
accurate representation. This was in perfect tune when they handed it to me. 50%, 90%, and 200%. Uh, I guess 60%? Okay, great. And just sign by dragging your bare finger across this thing I use to masturbate. Uh, okay. Thank you. Please make sure to bang your head on that low-hanging thing. What are you... Ah! Oh, you spilled something. You want a napkin? Yes, please. All right, here's 40 blown by the wind. Department, what the hell? I don't even get it and I'm laughing. What the hell is he doing? Uh, apparently he's trying to sprint. Sprint? He got winded walking to the plate. And he's been out in the blazing sun for two days. Has he had any water? No, he told his wife there's juices in the hot dogs. Well, I'm sorry. I got no choice but to call for a complete muscle failure. <laughs> Your smells incredible, man. <laughs> And my wife won't let me eat any of that stuff. Tell you what, I'll give you ten bucks for that thing. Yeah, me too. Wow. Huh. If I sell two sandwiches for ten dollars each, that equals... Money. It is. I don't even have to get on a plane. I always have trouble at the airport. Sir, you're not allowed to be on the carousel. Well, and maybe you shouldn't have named it such a fun word. Oh, excuse me, excuse me, I'm not yours. He's stealing me! I'm being stolen! Excuse me, I think you've got mine. Oh, that's a good idea. Sometimes it'd be like that. Yep, naked in someone else's restaurant, covered in junk. And probably feces. to greet the day. Are you living in a truck? That didn't ruin a honeymoon, and it's not gonna ruin this. So listen, I want all you guys to drive up to Boston this afternoon to see your father play in the big game. Oh, uh, wow, we'd love to. Mom, but we promised Stewie we'd perform a puppet show for him later today. Oh, you can perform it for all of us up here in Boston. The game's in two hours. Drive safely. <laughs> It's the middle of the night. Where are you going? I'm sick of all this healthy crap. I'm going downstairs to find something good to eat. And then I'm gonna fall asleep watching transvaginal mesh lawsuit commercials. There's nothing. Thank you, son. Peter, you know how you like $40 cash? Well, here's almost $40 cash. Guys, look, I know you all want to go, but I, I need a little more time to figure this out. I mean, it's a tough decision. Like what to do with that big watermelon I bought. Griffin, I just wanted to tell you. That's a great outfit. Keep it up. I knew it. I have to start trusting myself more. How? So listen to Lois. Tell me how fat and unhealthy I am. You do look like you put on a few. Your elbows are starting to pucker. Yeah, I mean, are you really happy in here? You bet I am. I'm happier than a squash on Halloween. Dad? Are they coming to take us away, too? No, son, we're fine. How about on Thanksgiving? You know what? Just enjoy the month. Her leg is fractured. We should get her to the hospital. My only medical training is to say, walk it off. Can you walk it off? No! Oh, well, that's not good. Okay, I'm gonna go fake use the phone in the dugout. Peter, what the hell got into you? Nothing, I was just trying to play hard, like Pete Rose. Look, I can even do the Pete Rose haircut. I bet you a thousand bucks I have a drinking problem. Ladies, line up. How about we start with some warm-ups? Bend down and touch your toes. <laughs> Memory card full? Come on! Okay, now, last year we were tricked by a couch and a dolly with wheels. So if any of you is a couch and a dolly with wheels, I'm gonna ask you to please leave now. I don't want to bring any of them. Those guys are all way better than me at baseball. They just show me up and ruin it for me. Why don't you bring Lois? She doesn't care about baseball, and that way nobody gets their feelings hurt. 
Brian, that's a great idea. Thanks. Is it new tennis ball great? It's three new tennis balls great. I'm gonna get them all, I'm gonna get them all, I'm gonna get them all. <laughs> oh my god! Chris, are you okay? I don't think so. I'm hurt pretty bad. Like that time I was running with scissors. <laughs> you run like a girl. Run like a man, you get a shoot. Oh, oh man, this is terrible. Stewie could be anywhere. <laughs> Sorry, I forgot my jacket. He's rejecting it. <laughs> Name? Quinoa. Uh-huh. Sorry, sir. We're full. Come on in, gummy bears. Oh, you are looking fine tonight. Mm, all right. We'll see you guys. Can't really be like that. 100%. It's Sunday. Okay. Now you heard Mom say I'm in charge. So I just want to lay a few ground rules. Yep. I promise we're going to have fun. But there will be a schedule, uh -huh. just to keep everything running sure, smoothly. Have boundaries. And I may assign That's a great, chore or two, because it's actually more Sounds fun like when you got it all worked out. in. Hey, by the way, ah! I'm going to flush your retainer down the toilet. This is amazing. Crap, is it gone? The driver nodded at me. I, I think I'm going to cry. Damn it. I can't believe I missed it. Jeez, I hope I don't end up stuck in here like Winnie the Pooh. Oh, Rabbit, perhaps you should push with your shoulder and not your fist? Don't worry about it. Damn it! I can't believe I missed it! Jeez, I hope I don't end up stuck in here like Winnie the Pooh. Oh, Rabbit, perhaps you should push with your shoulder and not your fist? Don't worry about it. <laughs> Stewie? What the hell's going on? Meg's awful! She gave me a timeout and she made me sit in this chair! My god, she put eyeshadow on you, too. I might have gotten up from the chair. Better than always solve your problems, Lois. Sure didn't work for Droopy Dog when he got that facelift. Contrary to my appearance, I'm still not happy. Please study my brain so that others don't suffer as I have. Man, what happened to our game? David Ortiz, will you pick him up like a baby? It's your weekend. <laughs> now let me put this baby bonnet on his head and a cigar in his mouth. So, what do you say? Are you going to let your wife play? Absolutely. Lois, stay here and play with us. I can't say no to baby bogs. Could you, could you, could you go? Ah, he bit me. I guess I could do without eating so much junk. But I could never do without you. Oh, Peter. Ma'am, please step back. We have to wash him with a hose. Guys, look, look! The Bing car is back! No, I'm not ready! I'm not ready! Inspire. Griffin! You're up. It's always the fat one. I heard that. Without drastic changes in our diet, Americans are headed for a health catastrophe. For more, go to our website at www.pbs.com. That's www. the word w three times, the word dot pbs, the word dot again, the word com dot com. There was a miscommunication when we registered our website. Yep, guess I can cross this one off my bucket list. All that's left now is living the Pueblo lifestyle. Peter, what the hell did you do to the house? I know, it seems pretty lame until you realize I'm 58. Ah, uh, uh, yeah. Welcome back, Mr. Disney. Are the Jews gone yet? Uh, no. Put me back in. You're drunk, okay? You're drunk. Give me your keys. And, and I'm drunk, so I'll give you my keys. Okay, now we're both good to drive home. You been drinking tonight, sir? Uh, no, officer. I just had a glass of dinner with my wine. <laughs>
Okay, I'm gonna need you to step out of the car and walk a straight line, please. All right, you'll be safe, sir. There's a lot of crazies out there tonight. Hey, now, where have you been? You left for the market six hours ago. Did you get the beans? Lois, I got something better. You know how you always wanted a real diamond engagement ring? <gasps> oh, my God! That's right, I bought a horse! No! Mm, what made you come around, Lois? No! I love you so much. I love you so much, Lois. Mm, I love you too, Peter. Mi amor! Papa! Niño! Bueno. Hey, 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 you want to buy some candy bars so we can get some new uniforms for our baseball team? Where'd you get those candy bars? I haven't been this disappointed since I lost my virginity. Uh-oh. You want to get some breakfast or something? See you, Lois. That last one almost got me. I'm not even going to lie. Now, I don't know if I've seen this one yet already, but still funny. Oh, God. Oh! I wonder if you guys could hear those. Oh, and like I tell you every day, if I come back in the middle of the afternoon and you're having sex with somebody, I'll kill you both. Step forward, maggot. Ah! Next time, that'll be you. Well, why wasn't it him this time? Oh, I'm so scared. Oh, ah, oh, ah, Peter, stop it! Yeah, you're real big when you got that stick, ain't you? Okay, I'll stop now. Well, I know what I'm gonna do. If we're gonna be here a while, I'm gonna find the biggest guy here and kick his ass. Wait a minute, that's me! Oh no, I have a knife! Hey, can you buy us some beer? Uh, I don't know, I don't think it'd be right. Ugh, I knew you weren't cool. Well, no, 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 hold on a minute. See, this is pretty cool. Yeah, so we're, uh, thinking about selling the house. What we could really use is some weed. I think that might be over the line. See, I told you this guy wasn't cool. Oh, no, no, hold on a minute. Mr. Griffin, did you or did you not distribute alcohol and marijuana to minors? No, Your Honor, I did not. Told you this defendant wasn't cool. Oh, no, 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 hold on a minute. I want to kiss that cow, but... I literally know people who are like that. Literally. You, all you have to do is tell them they're not cool. That was just awful, Chris. Terrible. He is not ready for flashbacks. No, he is not. Oh, look, a tie. Perfect. It's from all of us. Well, the fat man's never going to get back in time. And with him gone, that makes you the man of the house. I sentence you to death. Hi, Grandma. I got some down there hair now. Wanna see? Sometimes I pluck them because I deserve pain. Cut! No! Stop! We it's your own grandmother! No! Iris? We have a deep sadness. Oh, come on! Get up! They need you down there! Sure, I'll, I'll, I'll. I'm sorry, I was just coming down the stairs at the same time. Dad, it looks like some girl sent you a picture of her privates. Oh crap, Lois, I don't have the phone! Stop sending pictures! I already sent four more! Wait a minute, that's both her hands! Who the hell is taking the pictures? I'll end up being one of those bus drivers that parents don't completely trust. You have a beautiful child, Mrs. Roberts. You're dreaming. Dreaming? Yay, no consequences! <laughs> so lifelike! First stop, Washington. Every one of us has done that before. 
in a dream. We're like, oh my God, I'm dreaming. So I could do anything and then go to fly and then fall off the side of a building and then wake up before you hit the ground. Just me? In DC, the year is 1803. Ah, the future. <laughs> All right, where to next? I want to kill more scientists. Well, if I'm such a moron, then how did I get on a fancy boat? Douchebags! Sex doll? I wish Heather hasn't even let me get to second base. Wait, hang on. What's second base? Is that touching one of the cabbages? Yeah. Hey, can you check my back for kick me signs? Oh yeah, you got a couple. <laughs> this one says you're a dirty kick. That doesn't say kick, but thanks. So, keep that one for my lawsuit. Uh, before I touch anything, is this a nut-free counter? I don't know. My dad's might have been on there this morning. Yeah. You know where the most interesting stuff is, Dad? The human hat. His brain ain't right, but it's fun. Peter, you should see this. Your dishwasher cartoon has really outraged the online community. What? Gosh, it's not like the internet to go crazy about something small and stupid. You sound angry. Did one of your friends get engaged? You have no idea how offensive you are to women, do you? What? I love women. I bet I can name more porn stars than you. I know all of them, though. There are people who just started an hour ago, and I know them. Dad, how long until we can go back home? Um, I don't know. How long do women hold grudges? Not very long, I'm guessing. Well, if I gotta donate, he's gotta donate too. Yo, get in here! Ha <laughs> ha, sucker! Son of a bitch! I'm almost scared to see where this new clip is going. Woman wakes up to slurping and munching sounds. They're only showing her face. Might have to blur this out. Ha! God, your hair is delicious. Who are you? I'm the guy who killed your bodyguard. I brought some samples, if you'd like to try one. She said one. Take one. And just roll up those sleeves and address the task at hand, whatever it may be. Not shying away from the dirty work, but just rolling up our sleeves and having at it. Success is not given, it is taken. It's time to get in the game and get dirty. All right, I'm going to lunch. Oh, I better just stick with the sample. I'm so bad. But at least I know I'm bad, so that makes me a little less bad. Or worse. That was the right thing to do, Peter. Peter, what are you doing? What, what was that? Oh, back at the store, I uh, tucked my boner into the waistband of my pants, and now it's sitting weird. Because there's nothing worse than having a boner in a crowded Walmart. I'm not even going to tell that story. Just know that it's bad. <laughs> no, 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 no. I don't want to make that trade. I thought I wanted to make that trade, but I don't want to make that trade. Just give me the rope! Nobody has to get hurt, Brian! <laughs> Only one person has to get hurt, Brian! Yeah! Party! Ew, bath with friends. All right, Brian, first order of business. We have to decide who gets to ride in the cart and who has to push it. Well, I'm smaller, so... The decision has been made. Ooh, now I want that one! Let me just dunk the turkey once. I know I can jam it. That's not a regulation rim. I almost died! I swear to God, I thought dogs could breathe underwater. Bet that thing's not even... <laughs> I swear to God, I thought dogs could breathe underwater. Loaded. You just used your last bullet. Running on empty now! Brian, give him the turkey! No! You use real... <laughs> Give him the turkey. To God, I thought dogs could breathe underwater. Bet that thing's not even loaded. You just used your last bullet. Running on empty now. Brian, give him the turkey. No, you use real words. Internet stuff is not real words. Ah, ah. Wow, I, I. I read that look wrong. Now, I'll mostly be hitting on waitresses. 
<laughs> when it rains, it pours, people. I read that look wrong. Who is out here trying to get turkey genitalia? Other than me. I mean, no, I ain't. Who are too young and thin to ever be interested in me. Hitting on them in a kindly, genial way? No, in a threatening, creepy, I'm joking, but I'm not really joking way. Peter, this chair costs $3,000. That's not so much, Lois. It's only infinity times what you bring home every week. You requested a variance to build a hot tub off your garage? Oh, yeah. Did I get it? No. I will kill your son! <laughs> your son is dead! Well, let me just close a couple of these windows. There we go. Sorry, I was up late last night. <laughs> I had the house to myself. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. A lot of POV stuff. Yeah, I like to pretend it's mine down there what's doing all the slapping. Really? Are, are you sure? Yep. Never been more sure of anything in my life. Well, except one thing. Good evening, sir. Would you like to hear our specials? No! Pizza! Hey, careful, Meg. Remember what happened the last time I had to choose between you and a TV? Don't worry, Meg's holding our stuff. Meg, don't drink that soda! Now look, don't feel bad, Brian. It's fun being stupid. You don't gotta worry about nothing, you don't gotta read books, and you never die. Peter, uh, that's not correct. How would you know, stupid? <laughs> Go through the profit-loss statement line by line from the past six quarters, which will offer us a good cost analysis comparison uh, that I think we'll be able to utilize as we move forward in the next fiscal year. Hey guys, I gotta leave. I got a nosebleed, and uh, I don't work here. There's only one... Has anyone ever done something really grimy to get out of work? I know I have. I once told a boss that I had... that I had to go to the doctor, but I had to tell him something so disgusting that he didn't want to see a doctor's note. I told him I had ball issues, and no, that's not plural. Only one. Shrink down to microscopic size, enter Brian's brain, and destroy the tumor from within. I was ripped by a bug. Hey, Lois, guess what? I had them do that two wiener operation on me. You what? Double trouble! Uh-oh. That was the original. Please. Jeez, Meg, didn't I just take you on a field trip? Okay, here's the field. Goodbye forever. I'm a Justin. This is awesome. This changes everything. Peter, it doesn't change a thing. You're still the exact same person. I beg to differ. Peter, what the hell is going on? Oh, dude, is that your mom? No, I'm not his mom, you little That little bastard knows how to smoke pot out of an apple. <laughs> <laughs> I owe you, Max. You led me right to him. All right, now help me grind their horns into boner pills. And as we know, according to Game of Thrones, if the girl has had her blood, she is good to go. Has the girl had her blood? Answer the question. Yes, however, Mr. Quagmire was born on February 29th. Ergo, he's only 12. Ergo, the girl him. Argo, Ben Affleck. Lois, can I play Angry Birds on your phone? Okay, but only with the sound off. Fine, I'll just do it with my mouth. Oh, this is getting hard. Go around the block again, she's still out front. We've gone around six times, let's just talk to her. Yeah, you're right. Rip it off quick, like a band-aid. Hey, Meg, you know Mr. Quagmire, right by! So, so what do I do, just aim for the pond? No, you're not supposed to hit it into the water. But you hit it into the water. I know I hit it into the water. Well, why do they even have water if you're not supposed to hit it there? Because it's fun! We're having fun! <laughs> she also... Now, if you guys don't watch the original video, I probably don't know where the hell it is. Lego. Sir, how does it feel to have the lake back? Well, I'll tell you, Tricia, as a local resident, I feel like I can once again take pride in my community. I think this is really going to revitalize tourism, and... <laughs> And if you look around, I think even the wildlife is starting to come back. And, you know, that's something we haven't seen in a while, and I think we're going to be seeing a lot more of that. No way! My wife messed around with another chick! Thank you, God! Don't mention it, Peter. God! He knows what turns you on! Have fun! Remember? I can see now this is going to be a difficult one. Remember when I dated the Count? One minute!
people. Ah, 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 ah. Tools. Ah, 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 ah. Three nipples. Oh, hell no. I'm out of here. Odds are that baby's going to be. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, was not a laugh. Shit. We're just going to give me the benefit of the doubt and say that wasn't a laugh. Chromosomally damaged like those cats you see in the Special Animal Olympics. What the? Nigga! So, Whiskers, how does it feel to finally win your event after years of training? Yum, 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 yum. Ozone? Turbo? Do your thing! Oh, no. Lois, those are 90s black guys. Those aren't 80s black guys at all. Run! We're here to dance for the kids. Run, 80s black guys. You're no match for the 90s black guys. <gasps> okay, thanks. That's very helpful. You'll be a wonderful lover, Brian. What are you doing? Oh, sorry. You, you just had a little uh, something. That's what's good in the streets? Really? Oh, this is gonna be great! We'll stay up late, trade stories. <gasps> Ooh, let's watch the video of my ballet recital. Here it is! <gasps> <laughs> She's so unloved, even her stuffed animals won't play with her! Oh! What's funny is it's like that in real life too! Like if you hit somebody up and you want to hang out with them too much, they just will not show up! Sunshine Bear! Wait! <laughs> This is my Malibu Barbie doll that I got for Christmas this year. She comes with a hairbrush, a pocketbook, and two different dresses. Oh my god, who the hell cares? How dare you? So everybody just gets to stick their big chef spoon into my comedy gumbo, eh? What a no deal! You know something? I like your passion. Okay, we'll do the show, and we'll do it your way. No. Alright, so I got four left. Or three. Definitely one of them. Family Guy's always the hardest for me. They're too good with their jokes. The cast and I would be happy to answer a few questions. Oh, yes, so many questions. Me, me, Mr. Stewart, 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 Mr. Yes, you there. Oh. Man, this chocolate bar is delicious. Oh, yeah, I love peanut butter. I'm Officer Reese's. What happened here? He got peanut butter on my chocolate. He got chocolate in my peanut butter. Hey, pal, watch my seat. I gotta bleed the lizard. Public urination is just wrong. Except during the Million Man March when protesters burned out porta potties. Then I used my stream of justice to put out the hate. What was actually happening? Hey. You were lying? You weren't feeling sick? I don't understand. Why did you want me to do this? <laughs> what? He was in on it? It was just a prank? You guys are gross! You see that, Brian? That's going to be our pieces later, right? Irrational and emotionally fragile by nature, female co-workers are a peculiar animal. They are very insecure about their appearance. Be sure to tell them how good they look every day, even if they're homely and unkempt. You're doing a great job, Muriel, and you're prettier than Mamie Van Doren. And remember, nothing says good job like a firm, open palm slap on the behind. Don't take that advice, people. Your ass gonna end up with allegations like Nelly. Even though all the charges got dropped. Well, Peter, it sounds like you should go... I think a better joke would have been allegations like Morgan Freeman. Go out and co-mingle amongst your newly found brethren. You know, absorb the culture. Wheelie time! <laughs> Yeah, you're right, Cleveland. I should be hanging around more black people like myself. Thanks. 
Hey, Peter, what the... It's the vibration. Go, fellow canine! Be free and enjoy life! Maybe that's why he was tied up. <laughs> oh, man, I don't even feel bad about laughing at that one. All right. No, no, not all right. Everybody, I'm home from work. My God, Peter, you wore those pajamas to your... I don't think I'm gonna make it, bruh. I think Family Guy Try Not To Laugh challenges have to be 10. Hey, at least I'm mixing it up a little bit. Oh, green shirt, tan pants. That's refreshing. Oh, boy, does it feel good to undo my butt flap. Ew, Dad! We don't want to sit here and look at your ass. Yes, I'd rather look at Meg toweling off after a shower when she does that butt floss thing. Ew. Ew, that's so disgusting. Uh, 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 I hope I don't ever accidentally use that towel. Uh! Lois, I have never been more comfortable as a person than I am in these feety pajamas. All warm and furry. This is what it feels like to be a bear. Y you remember what I used to say, Lois, when we first got married? You remember? I used to say, what would it feel like to be a bear? Well, this is it. This is it. I'm living it, baby. No, you're not. You've been wearing those things for three days. You can wear them to bed, but tomorrow we're getting rid of them. <sighs> Fine. Screw up all my fuzziness. Ah! What the hell was that? Ah! Oh my god! Lois, don't get alarmed, but I think I might be Jesus. I'm Jesus. Peter, that's a static shock. Your pajamas created a charge of electricity when you dragged your feet across the carpet, and when you touched Chris, you passed it on. Kneel before Christ! Ah! <laughs> dad! I am not your dad. I am Electric Man. <laughs> Ow! Damn it, Peter, stop it! I gotta tell you, you're pissing me off worse than when I watched the OJ verdict with my old roommate. We, the jury, find the defendant, Orenthal James Simpson, not guilty. Yes. What the hell? What? what? Maybe we should get new roommates. Yeah, maybe we should. <laughs> Peter, I know you're in here. Yes, I am, Lois. But where? Peter, if you shock me, I swear to God I'm leaving you. You'll have to find me first, Lois. Where could I be? Well, there's a Quonset hut that I've never seen in this room before. I gotta figure you're in there. How do you know, Lois? I could be in that New York-style magazine kiosk. Peter, this all looks very expensive. Yes, you might say it was shockingly expensive. I'm gonna try the Quonset hut. Ah! <laughs> I was in the bathroom. The hut and the kiosk. Decoys, Lois. Decoys! <laughs> Duh. Art. Dot. Buh. It. Bet. Bet. I, I knew that. Slow it down. Huh. It. Pit. Hit. Uh, come on, pal. It's my first day. Uh. At. Fat. Oh, that's it, buddy. <laughs> One. Uh, 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 uh. Two. Uh, 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 uh. Three. Nip. Oh, hell no. I'm out of here. Jeez, what the hell, Brian? I can't take it anymore. Message for Brian Griffin. <laughs> I lost my ass gambling. Have you seen it? Leave me alone, you jerk! Stewie, you gotta help me. Peter just won't let up with the nudity. Well, you know how the fat man operates. He won't stop unless he's stopped. The only way you're going to end this is if you find a way to even the score. You've got to be nude. Stewie, I am nude. I'm just covered with fur. Well, shave it off. Give him a taste of his own medicine. Maybe you're right. I, mean, I gotta do something. This is just one of those things he won't let up with. Hello? Cynthia, oh my god, so good to hear from you. Sure, I can talk. I'm just sitting out here in the open. 
<laughs> My car? It's a Prius. <laughs> I wouldn't say I'm specifically a hero for driving one. The heroes are the ones who come back from Iraq and drive a Prius. Gotcha! What the hell? Hey, you looking for me? What the? Oh, God, what the hell is that? What's wrong? You look uncomfortable. Here, let me give you a hug. Yeah, get away from me, you gremlin. <laughs> ah, no! Why don't you rub my belly, pal? Oh. <laughs> Your skin is so loose and wrinkly. It's like I'm just pushing around a plastic bag full of chicken bones. <laughs> Why do you have so many nipples? You gonna put your clothes on? Yes, yes, I swear. You gonna keep them on? Yes, I promise I'll never bother you again with my body. Please, just make this stop. Good. Yeah, can you give me a ride to the... Yeah! What is that thing? Oh, I'm making go away! What's going on in here? Oh, my God, is that a rat? Peter, hold it down. I'm getting a... That's like one of the only ways to stop somebody from doing stuff like that to you is to do it back to them way worse than they were doing to you. To you. That's real talk. Yes? Hello, Peter. You know, I was just thinking, when I was your age, my Uncle Roy shared a beer with me. I drank it, and I was so excited I fell asleep. I must have tossed and turned something fierce, because when I woke up, my pants were off. Never saw much of Uncle Roy after that. Turns out we weren't even related. Anyway, I thought him sharing that beer with me was the coolest thing ever. And I know nowadays things are different, so I got some crystal meth. I figured we could do it together as father and son. I don't know about that. Tell you what, I'll get us started. <sighs> that feels... That feels better. You sure that stuff is okay? All I know is the guys who made it are dead. Why is there no hole in this wall? You know, this thing is bugging me. All right, I'm gonna take a hike. Don't do drugs, kids. So, you're gonna introduce me to your pals? That's Trapjaw, that's Optimus Prime, that's Destro, and that's a Care Bear. You having a tea party? No, we're working out a land deal. Trapjaw is trying to get a variance to build an unpermitted structure within 10 feet of Optimus Prime's property line. Destro is the city councilman who's telling Trapjaw that he has to file it as an accessory structure, and even then it can only be built at the rear of the lot. And the Care Bear is just a Care Bear. I am so f***ing ready. World of books. Ooh, Horton hears domestic violence in the next apartment and doesn't call 911. You think it's easy working all day? No. You I, think I like it? I don't think it's easy, but yes, I do think you like no, it. No, yeah, I like being away from you because I can't stand looking at you. You, you oh! yeah. <laughs> yeah. You think I want to do that? You think I want to hurt you? Not in front I don't want to hurt you. you I'm sure there's two sides to this. Make me hurt you. I had to hold that one in, but it didn't laugh. I'm sure there's two sides to this. Stop looking so depressed, Brian. I'm sure one day you'll meet a girl who. I got one laugh left, yo, and like two more minutes of video to go. Loves abortion as much as you do. That's not the point, Stewie. I'm just tired of every girl I meet being crazy. Oh, things will work out for you. Now come on, let's forget our problems and get lost in the world of books. Ooh, the very horny caterpillar. Wow, did you eat through all that food? Kinda. Alright, let's do this, let's kick some ass! Uh, George, the war is over. What? Yeah, it's done. Get out of here, are you serious? Yeah. Oh man, oh man, I just got your messages and I, I oh, I'm sorry. George, it's been over for a while. Really? Yeah, it's 1981. It's, uh, oh, oh, wow, oh, so I'm way late. Oh, boy. Yeah. Uh, well, you want to do something else? I got some blow. Son of a bitch, took you this long to tell me, break it out. That escalated quickly. Oh, man. I haven't had my own business since I ran that mail order operation. Yeah, uh, I bought a giant life-size slingshot from you, and it just slammed me into a mountain. Sorry, no returns. I've been a customer here for years. I can maybe give you a store credit, but, uh, really? Well, I, I guess so. Uh, What's the hold up in here? I'm taking care of it! Original programming. Cheeky Bastard is filmed in front of a live studio audience. Oh my god, where's my roast pheasant? Hmm, by now I think it's in my lower intestine. <laughs> you ate it? But I told you my boss was coming here for dinner. Well, unless he likes pork rinds, he's going home hungry. <laughs>
<laughs> you cheeky bastard. <laughs> I don't want to admit it, but I think you were right. I don't believe it. Finally, I can do this. I set that thing up 15 years ago. Hey, where's the clown? We've got to do something about this. Pack your bag, Peter. We're going to Washington. Oh, there he is. Don't worry, I got it under control, Lois. I'm monitoring Dylan from here on Stewie's baby monitor. Hey, Dylan. Hey, come on in here for a sec. Stewie, why are you nude? Oh, just a little something I do once a week around here called a naked tea party. Got my teacup here. Now no. all I need is a tea bag. No! That's something that interests you, my friend? You're no. weird. Yeah, and you're attractive. Now take your fucking pants off! I'm out of no. <laughs> Now you know why Stewie always keeps a pistol on him. You know what I mean? Because sometimes, sometimes they don't go willingly. They hear... Huh, did you see that, Rupert? How to lose a guy in ten seconds starring Stewie Griffin, huh? Gee whiz. Ah, what the hell is wrong with you? What is your problem? You want to know what my problem is? You want to know what my problem is? I love too much. Peter, what are you talking about? Don't you see, Lois? We're alive. Peter, you're scaring me. Good. Embrace the fear. Dance with me, Lois. Dance the dance of life. <laughs> yeah, maybe you should call that marriage counts. <laughs> Maybe that's why I'm scared of marriage, man. Oh my god! I realize this is very upsetting for you. That's why I've invited Howie Mandel to lighten the mood by blowing up a surgical glove with his nose. I don't see Quagmire. Oh, that was great. Thanks! I know you have a choice in airport sex, and I appreciate your choosing Quagmire. Please exercise caution when standing up, as the contents of your vagina may have shifted during coitus. Who else but Quagmire? He's Quagmire, Quagmire. You never really know what he's gonna do next. He's Quagmire, Quagmire. Let's have sex. Let us forever remember this beautiful young woman, taken from us in the bloom of youth, yet as unspoiled as when she was born. <laughs> Who else but Quagmire? He's Quagmire, Quagmire. Dead women is where I draw the line. I feel like if you're gonna have a line, that's a good place to start, is at least that they're not dead. I'm gonna edit all of this out. Giggity, giggity, goo. All right, I got a plane to catch. Say, which gate is flight 209? 209? That flight left half an hour ago. Oh my god. Oh my god! That plane's going down! My friends are on that plane! They're all gonna die! What? Oh no! And that's not the worst part! Here's the condom I said I put on! <gasps> Aren't I just the worst? Stewie? Welcome to Pillow World, Bry. Let me get up and greet you. There we go. How you doing? Oh my god, Stewie, you're totally drugged out! You know something? I've been thinking about how everyone in this family, Brian, does their job. And they do a pretty good job of it. Where are you going? Oh, I'm meeting up with someone from my Grinder app. Isn't that for anonymous gay hookups? No, no, no. This one's a way for guys who enjoy sandwiches to connect. You meatball freak? Uh-huh. All right, let's do this. Stirring up some pretty unsavory memories, guys. Pretty unsavory. Are you also married? Oh my god! My husband's having a heart attack! Is anyone here a doctor? I have a 13 inch penis. <laughs> Stewie! Stewie's Canal! You're here! We gotta get going! Going? Where? To Hartford, man! Okay, before we go, I should wet my eyes.
there. They make such a cute couple, like Pac-Man and Ms. Pac-Man. Hi, it's Dewey Griffin here with my latest creation, Monster Energy Drink. What is it? I don't know, but it's free from this truck that stopped outside your work. Mix it with booze. Ever been wide awake, blacked out? Ever try to jump over a train on a bike? Ever bit the beak off a bird? Monster... <laughs> This is exactly why I don't drink any energy drinks. I don't even drink coffee. Homie look like he on meth and or crack. The energy. Put it in your body and ask questions later. It's green, so it's nature. Please place the item in the bagging area. Please remove the item from the bagging area. Please take a plastic bag from the bagging area. Please put the bag over your head and tighten. <laughs> Ha 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 ha. I told you I could make him do it. That's hardcore, man. You're hardcore. Hey, guys. Peter, are you alright? You know what? I feel good. I feel like I want to giggle behind my hand at a lot of things and hold but not eat a big ice cream cone. I take a picture with the giant Samsung phone. Giant Samsung phone is also a tiny Kia car. <laughs> Also, I like to eat a big bowl of berries before I go to sleep. <sighs> oh my god, they're even taking down a mosquito netting. <laughs> buzz, buzz, buzz. <laughs> I can't tell y'all what's funny about that because I will have to edit it out. That's messed up. The stolen vehicle here. But this is my car. Suspect's getting belligerent. What? Officer down. Joe's been running me ragged in the bedroom. Come on, you suck! You're trash! You're a garbage person! You are- Oh, cool! That brick I ordered! Wait a minute. I didn't order this brick. You may be right, Chris! Breezy skies and sun and there's gonna be a- Get that camera out of my face! Brian, there's a message in my alphabet. It says, ooh. Peter, those are Cheerios. Oh, but I hope he doesn't have some gross Jewish candy, like, like Rugelach or, or Hamantaschen or, or, or ha, 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 to see what a vagina looks. Ah, ah, oh God! Oh my God! Oh my God! Ah! You can nah, that uh, opinion changes greatly as you get older. You start wanting to become real close friends with him. Give me a hand with this jar. Oh, for heaven's sake, Peter. Ah! <laughs> Gotcha. How was that, Dr. Diddy? Yo, that sounded smooth, y'all. I just have a car. I'm the king of the world. That's exactly how life is, nigga. The minute you on top. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. Ooh. To worry about. Morning. Ah, get away from us! <laughs> All right, Brian. Now, if we're going to get you ready to compete in that dog show, we've got a lot of training to cover. Let's begin by doing some work with the clicker. Oh yeah, I've seen these. You click it when you want me to do a trick, and then I get a treat, so I associate the two. No, I use it to punctuate my jokes. Now, Brian, you've got to roll over and be good on all fours. If Nathan Lane can do it, so can you. Okay. <laughs> but maybe we should just focus on getting ready for the show. Well, look who wants to be prepared. You're a regular Beagle Scout. Wait, shouldn't I be the one who clicks if I like the joke? You can't just click after everything you say. If it's funny, I can. And so far, they've all landed. Unlike the planes on 9-11. See? No click. That one was in poor taste. Not funny. You know, I was supposed to be on one of those planes. Yeah, me too.
How you doing? You feeling good? Because this thing is going to come down to the arbitrary whims of whatever elderly volunteers were able to get transportation here on a Tuesday. Yeah, I... Hey, watch it! The hell's his problem? Careful. That's your competition. His name's Max. He's a four-time winner and kind of a crowd favorite. Okay, who wants to start the dog show? Who wants to start it? Yes, you all want to start the dog show, don't you? 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 in the male division is Brian Griffin. Yes. Ma'am, thank you for all your help, Stewie. I really couldn't have done it. What the What's going on? This This is it? It's happening right here? Right now? Uh-huh. They have to certify the union, Brian. Stud is ready to mount. Please turn up the lights. What? No! No, the opposite! In fact, could someone maybe turn on some... some Drake or The Weeknd? Ha! He's blowing it! <laughs> My nigga asked for Drake and Weeknd. What's really messed up is that's... that's legitimately music that we... Moving on. Moving on. He can't do it! Quagmire? What are you doing here? Oh, I have an all-access pass to anything in this town that's sex-related. Offering manual assistance. Commencing union. Okay, okay, thanks, man. But uh, no, I, I got this. I got this. If, if you just, just give me a second to get like a scenario in my head. Uh, maybe a hot babysitter who needs to pay for college, so she. Uh, can somebody?